U.S. President Joe Biden told President Volodymyr Zelensky on July 12 that he looks forward to the day he can welcome the war-torn country to NATO, aiming to take the sting out of recent comments that now is not the time for Ukrainian membership in the military alliance. Biden said he understood the Ukrainian leader's frustration at getting the help he needs quickly enough. Before he left the U.S. for the NATO trip, Biden told CNN broadcaster, in an interview, that he thought the time was not yet right for Ukraine to join NATO because it would immediately plunge the alliance into an all-out war with Russia. Get you what you need as rapidly as we can get it to you. So, now we see that we have. Well, you've done an enormous job. You have a lot more to do, I know, and, uh, and I just think that, uh, you know, we're going to make sure that you get what you need. And uh, I look forward to the day when we're having the meeting celebrating your official, official membership in NATO. You, you said about 500 days. It's really, um, it's very simple, you know, to criticize, for example, cluster ammunition, uh, which you made decision, difficult political decision. But it's, but you, you have to know that Russia used such weapon from the first days, not only full-scale war, from first days of occupation of Crimea, in, in, from 2014 and 15, in all our t territories in Donbass, they used it. And now they continue doing it. That you gave us, this decision will help us to save us. And that's why my appreciation for, for this. And I didn't hear from all the, you know, parts of the world when, when Russia began to use it. I didn't hear that some of, you know, countries criticized Russia, you, you know, but I think that it was very useful to put them. So thank you so much for this help. We really counted on it, not only on this, I mean, that's totally, and you gave us huge support. I want to thank to all Americans who understand that it's more than 43 billions for today. <coughs> it's big support, and I understand that it's all your money, but but you have to know that you spend this money for, for not, not just for fighting. You spend this money for our lives, and uh, I think that we save the, the lives for, 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 for Europe and for, for all the world. Great success and security guarantees.